What's going on guys? This is Dean here with Serum. For those of you that are returning, we've recently uh, rebranded from no code black box into Serum. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna demo uh, a production level solution that we've built to build and integrate your own custom LLMs into your no code applications, um, such as with Bubble, uh, which we'll be demoing here. And really kind of the beauty of this guys is uh, we built this to be very. Uh, we built this to be a very, you know, plug and play solution right out of the box. Um, so really, all you need to do is just sign up with an account, and um, we'll look at kind of the inner workings of this with, um, you know, Bubbles workflows. But I, I created this with one goal in mind. Um, aside from it being very straightforward, is to make it very abstract. Um, so you can kind of, um, you know, in this case, we're going to be chatting with it, but you can do a whole lot more. Um, you can tie this into your other workflows. Um, you know, as you normally would with Bubble, uh, which I think is really cool. And um, yeah, so in, in, in this kind of um, demonstration here, I've uploaded Apple's Form 10Q, which is just a financial document um, that they're required to give out, uh, or really any public company is required to give out. But you can see if we just scroll down here that it's just uh, a lot of financial data in tabular format. But, um, you know, if we come back into our application, we can ask it something specific such as, um, you know, what is, um, excuse my caps there, what is Apple's, um, you know, diluted EPS for the year uh, 2023, right? And obviously the current language models out there, GPT-3 and 4, aren't going to have access to this financial data um, as it's for um, 2023, but we can see here we get a response um, is 341, um, which, we, which we have here. Uh, for their earnings per share. And I and I even have a kind of toggle just to show you guys. Uh, we can even enable our prompt template, which is just a sort of instructions. And in the instructions, I'll show you, uh, we have it so you can, um, you know, you can, uh, I have it set up so it explains any like financial jargon such as EPS. So if we send it again, um, you know, it should explain the term of what, in, um, you know, earnings per share is. Um, so... Yeah, once we get the response, <clears throat> we can see here that it explains what uh, diluted EPS is, um, which is just a metric that calculates earnings per share into account all the potential shares, um, even outstanding. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you, uh, if we just quickly come back into Bubble and go into the workflows, you can see that this is really the only setup that's required. Um, you can see we have the plugin here, uh, but if we go back into the workflows, we can see um, really just in one step here, we're just setting the state of the element to display the answer. But really just in one step, um, we can see we're just taking the input, you know, as you normally would. And then um, also the API key that we're generating uh, within our application. So I guess uh, next step is to kind of walk through um, our solution there. So. so once we're in our application, once you've just signed up and created an account, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to, um, you know, upload your documents um, and get it integrated directly with Bubble. So we can simply just upload, um, you know, the document we want. We're going to upload the 10Q again, um, ingest this essentially. And once that's ingested, um, yeah, we can see it's been properly ingested. Uh, so if we come into the prompt templates, um, we can, for, you know, this is, you know, we're essentially uh, providing instructions um, for our ingested data. So we can say something like, you know, please explain the following financial data as you would to a five-year-old. And, um, you know, uh, also please explain any financial jargon, for example, like um, how we did with the, uh, you know, EPS, for example. So if we click save there, and then we come into chatbots, we're just gonna create a new one. We'll just call this Apple Financial Data. We're gonna select our prompt template that we just created. Click save there. And um, yeah, that's that's essentially it. That's really uh, all that needs to be done. Um, and if we come in, if we actually click the chatbot, you're actually able to query it within our own native application as well, just to test it. Um, so we can ask it something like, you know, what were, Apple's, um, you know, total profits for the year um, 2023, right? So uh, you should see we, we get a response here. And um, I guess the next step we'll show is um, how easy this is to integrate with Bubble. So like I said, guys, no infrastructure is needed. 
no, um, you know, no deploying, um, setting up all the vectorized uh, database solutions. None of that is required. It's simply just create an account um, and you're gonna get uh, your API key here. So we can just create one. We'll just call this bubble um, test. We'll go ahead and create that API key. And then um, we're just gonna go ahead and copy this. And if we come back into bubble, again, I'm just, I'm gonna delete this here and just show you guys just how easy it is um, to set this up. So we'll just call chat as chatbot. And again, this plugin is um, installed in our application. We're simply going to paste our API key in and then add our chatbot ID so we can reference um, you know, the correct chatbot. So obviously if you have a lot of documents um, uploaded, um, you know, we can, you know, select which ones we want based on, you know, what workflow we're using. So we can see we have um, 18 here and we just add that and that's it guys. Like that's, uh, there's, there's really not much, much uh, more to it. So um, you can see here, I'm just changing the state of, of this here. So um, we're going to output the uh, response of whatever it returns. So if we come back into our application, we can ask it something like what was you know, Apple's total liabilities for the year 2023, right? Um, we'll go ahead and just send that without the prompt template and it should return us um, the total liabilities, what we're looking for. Um, yeah, 270,000 million. Um, so uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I wish <laughs> this video was longer, but just to show you kind of the simplicity of this, um, you know, of how easy it is to just ingest your own data and, and get it set up. Um, if you guys are interested in using our no code plug and play solution, uh, Serum Flow, we're going to be leaving a sign up down below uh, in the description if you guys want to sign up and lock in the early day pricing. This is going to be a paid solution. Um, normally, we're going to be pricing this at $60, $59 a month uh, with this. Uh, early bird pricing, it's going to come in at just 29 And another thing to mention too, is we're actually going to be covering the cost of um, the open AI, um, you know, token, uh, the tokens as well. So you won't even need to put your um, own open AI API key in, um, and you won't need to uh, pay any of that on your side. So yeah, guys. Um, and another thing to mention is this is going to be a 60 day money back guarantee as well. Um, if you're not um, happy with our service. So um, yeah, sign down below. It's going to be, again, this is just for the first 100 users, and I think we're very close to capacity at that last time I checked. Um, and we're going to be continually adding on to this as well um, with different kind of document loaders, web loaders, web scraping, uh, as well as the um, utilization of agents, uh, which I think is going to be very powerful once we tie in the workflows with that within Bubble. Um, the options are really limitless here. Um, we're going to be iterating on this very fast and garnering your guys' feedback. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to lock in the price of the early bird, um, again, add your email to the um, form down below. And um, obviously this is something we're going to, you know, grandfather and honor as well. Uh, once we do eventually raise our prices, um, for the, those of you that, um, you know, locked in it at 29, um, that will be honored as well. So yeah, guys, I'm excited to hear your guys' feedback on how we can improve this because um, this is something that's actually, um, you know, a lot of our clients have insisted on this. Um, you know, utilizing their own data, but many of them don't have the technical know-how or experience to kind of create their own solution, um, whether it be open source or their own solution to um, deploy it. Um, and even if they do, it's not something that's built scalable. So like I said, guys, that's kind of what um, we've designed this in mind, making it very scalable, um, you know, abstract, so you can plug in with all your workflows and then also um, secure as well um, with the use of our uh, authentication to ensure that you know, other users can't access your data, which is very important. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear any feedback in the comments on how we can improve this and what you guys are looking for. Um, and, if, and again, if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.